Hey YouTube fam, welcome to our channel where we discuss all things travel. I'm Alexis. I'm Tony. Welcome to the channel and we're here to help you travel the world. As of right now, the online passport renewal is currently paused as of March 8th, but when they get it up running again, I just want to give you guys some suggestions just in case you decide to use the online passport renewal portal. So I recently did my application online and submitted it January 21st of 2023. I used a window shade in my house that is white as a white background for my photo, used my cell phone to take the photo and filled out all the information online and clicked submit. I didn't hear anything back from them for a little over a week and I was almost getting concerned that I needed to call the toll-free number to see if they actually received my application. But they finally did get back to me and sent me an email confirmation in February to let me know they received my application, it's processing. In that email they said that expedited processing will take five to seven weeks and regular routine processing is going to take eight to 11 weeks. So I said, okay, great. They have my application and they're gonna process it. So after I submitted the application, I began to hear stories on the news about how it was taking a long time to get the passports back and people were missing out on vacations and all this stuff. So I decided to go back online and do the expedited service. So I paid the money and now once I did that, my application pretty much went to the back of the line. It was almost as if I started all over again. So that's one mistake you should avoid. If you wanna do expedited service or if you think you might wanna do it, just go ahead and pay for it when you submit your application online. Don't do it halfway through or a week later because it just makes your application start all over again. So after I did that, they sent me an email confirmation letting me know it it would take 35 business days. That 35 business days would have just put me at 11 weeks anyway, so I kind of felt like I should have just let the routine processing work its way through. After about a couple of months, I started getting nervous and was wondering why I haven't received my passport yet, so I went online. After about 60 days, they make you change your password, so I did that, and then I noticed that there were no options to change your address or change to the one to two day shipping or anything. All those options were always there so I thought maybe they're about to print my passport and I can't make any changes so I thought okay well let me just check back and still nothing so after about 11 weeks I finally got an email which was on April 18th letting me know that my passport has been shipped it took two days to get my passport in my mailbox after I received that email confirmation. So I did get my passport back. It took three months. So basically if you have a minimum of three months to wait around for your passport, okay, fine. Right now you can't do it online anyway, but once they get the system back up and running, I would thoroughly do your homework and investigate to see if this is the best route for you. Also be aware that you can contact your state senator or your congressman if you need help getting your passport status or getting your passport at all. You can also contact them. And let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching.